If you have a pet at home, make sure to sneak them an extra treat with dinner tonight. April 11th marks National Pet Day. And while we honor the four legged members of our family today, it's also meant to raise awareness for the animals still looking for their forever homes. Tonight, 7 News reporter Ryan Arbogast visiting a local animal rescue where to a, the owner every day is National Pet Day. To say Emily Burrow loves dogs would be an understatement. She's truly devoted. Uh, probably around 30 dogs. Um, some of those consist of litters. Um, we have two litters in foster right now. Um, I just had 11 puppies. Our camera even caught one of those puppies holding her hand. Yep, yep, they're our babies. I think it's safe to say they love her back, right? <coughs> Emily says she believes dogs need human love and compassion all the time. And when they don't get it, bad things happen. She was even snuggling rescue pup Bridget throughout our interview. Awful. I've run transports myself. I we have driven them. Um, we've gone to the mills and seen. Um, you see the dogs that the condition that they come in. They're matted all the way down to their skin with sores. They they come in all sorts of conditions and it's awful. But it's great to see them afterwards. With that in mind, she started Allie and Pals Rescue about a year ago. So all of our dogs are kept in foster homes. We don't kennel any of our dogs. Each dog is brought in and sent to one of 15 foster families that Emily has on board right now. We are limited with the amount of fosters that we have. Um, if we could save every dog, we could, but we can't pull anything or help anything unless we have a dedicated foster home set up for that dog. So in honor of National Pet Day, Emily and her rescue are asking for help for these guys. There's so many dogs out there that need a chance and need to be saved, and we can't do anything unless we have somewhere for them to go. So far, about 250 pups have found a forever home thanks to Allie and Pals. If you'd like to add another dog to that list, you can visit our website or be on the lookout for the rescue's puppy kissing booth set to pop up all over western New York this summer. Ryan Arbogast, 7 News Getzville. Uh, got to get that bark in there. We want to see your pictures for National Pet Day. Share them with us on social media using the hashtag SeeItOn7 and stay tuned. You might see them on air.